price to expand more in the fair trade model and what it means for farmers and consumers. We are joined in our other studio here in Nairobi by James Samway. He's the executive director of Fair Trade Africa. Mr. Samway, thank you for joining us tonight. So let's start off by you telling us what fair trade is and why it's important to African farmers. Thank you for having me. The fair trade mark that we've been talking about actually should be seen in a broader sense. It's actually a fair trade movement. Fair trade represents the world's leading ethical trading label. We are the most visible trading label, we're the most recognized trading label, and indeed we are the most trusted ethical trading label in the world. So why are you important then to African farmers? The importance of African farmers comes from the fact that, broadly speaking, the economic base of Africa is in agriculture, it's through farming. And there is a need to ensure that there is market access for African products as part of global supply chains. But it also appreciates that the consumers are extremely concerned about the conditions under which these agricultural products are produced and processed. So the fair trade mark then works to ensure that there is integrity in that value chain by ensuring that certain standards are met at the production level and those standards as well are adhered to at other levels of the supply chain. So fair trade then will mean higher prices for consumers at a time when food prices in the continent are rising. Don't you think that fair trade perhaps will hurt the ordinary consumers? I think it's actually the exact opposite. Fair trade does not result in higher prices. In fact, we have, there is research that shows that fair trade prices and other prices on the shelf are very similar. What it does ensure, though, is that it gives producers the right to be able to demand a fair price. That fair trade in minimum price which is um, an adherence, um, a standard within the fair trade mark and the fair trade movement, ensures that there is economic growth at the grassroots level, at the rural level, so that you and I, as consumers, are able to make a choice about the products that we make. But in those choices, we are also transferring back economic wealth to the producers of those products. So, Mr. Moore, is there a difference then between fair trade and CSR, especially when you throw in the free market dynamics? I think there is a space for both. CSR is really about companies making profits and then allocating um, a portion of that profits towards do good. Fair trade is very different from that. Fair trade is making sustainable and ethical trading DNA of the business. The brands and labels that we work with, which are large multinational brands, understand that sustainability is a way of business and therefore they engage with us. We become a business enabler to ensure that their, their supply chains for coffee, tea, cotton, and other products are indeed ethical and sustainable. How different is fair trade from other certifications such as the Kenya Bureau of Standards Certification and ISO? That's a very important question. Fair trade is not about the technical specification of a product. So national standards around technical and quality, those will always remain. What we do is we add value to the brand. So the, the technical aspects of the brand are taken care of by the, the company's own standards, by the label's own standards, by national standards, by ISO, for example. We complement that. We add to that to ensure that the brand is competitive by communicating that it cares about sustainable and ethical trading. All right, Mr. Moy, we have to leave it there, but thank you for coming to our studios. We've been talking to, we've been talking to James Moy, Executive Director of Fair Trade Africa.